Oh, dude, that's crazy, dog. It's like. How's that crazy? There's like billions and billions of coke in the world. Oh, dude, don't fucking go there already. You're already doing this. I'm just saying. It's Justin and Squam. We're getting fucked up. We're gonna talk some shit. Cause we're half cup right now. We're a little drunk. Half cup right now. We're gonna have some fun. Half cup right now. And we have cut now. Check this out, though. Yellowstone shot glass with Yellowstone vodka that we didn't finish. Woo! It's not. It's not Yellowstone vodka, but it's. I have a RV uh, sailor. Yeah, this is RV fucking vodka. Okay. All Are right. We doing this? Well, well, yeah, I guess. Um. Welcome to the Half Cut Podcast Show. I'm Justin. I'm Squint. Hey, uh, yeah. So this this is like I can't believe we're actually doing this right now. <laughs> oh yeah, you know you, you know you need to fucking do. You, actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. So uh, Justin's sister fucking f- fucked us. Let's oh yeah, since I don't have a laptop, like I don't need one, but now I definitely have to go buy one. So. So he doesn't have the fucking proper setup. We're not recording on what we usually record as we go on Zoom, blah, blah, blah. We're on Skype. So if it looks shitty or whatever, that's why. And I don't I mean, even have my mic set up. Like it doesn't have his mic. mic. You're using this mic, which yeah. I, I was going to say, because when, when you use in all the other podcasts, when you, you have this mic, right? The, the Blue yeah. Yeti. Dude, you, you're like fucking so lazy. It, even in a podcast, you're... You're leaning back the whole fucking podcast like you're falling asleep. So when, when <laughs> you look so Dude. mad, but so no, I don't but, even look. No, what I'm bad. saying I is I was gonna bad. I was gonna let you know the next time we record because I was like, dude, you need to like actually stay up because you gotta realize this mic, it's good if you're close up to it. If you're away from it, the whole point of it is it, it's gonna get like right it here. Sound, literally, it sounded the exact same the whole time you did that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you, you want to just be dad and try to tell me something? Is that what it is? You Maybe. upset? You I think... Upset? What the fuck, dude? This is scuffed. All right. I get double images of you now. All right. You get double the fun, dog. Okay. Oh, here we go. This is actually my first time drinking out of a clean shot glass in forever, I feel like. Oh, yeah. Since the beginning of the podcast. And... This RV chair we're about to get into and talk about. Uh, I drink so much fucking alcohol. Oh, hands the, down. Like I'm, I'm not even kidding. I consumed more fucking alcohol than I did water. That's for sure. And I think there was not a single hour in the day that I didn't have a drink in my hand or drinking. You know what was crazy was we had eight hours of no water. Do you remember that? Yeah, there's a lot of dumb shit we went through on this trip. <laughs> but. Uh, I told myself I was gonna take a break from drinking, but then I totally forgot that we have a podcast that just that we just drank. Yo, don't uh, don't try to you try to put that on me. Well, what I, to, what I was gonna you say. Try to put that on me. What I was gonna say is that you made the tradition that we take a shot at the beginning and the, and the end. So that's what I was gonna say. I don't know what you're on top of that, to... this is the half cup podcast, and we're supposed yeah, to. Yeah, and I'm drinking water. I don't know about you. What? I'm just in your drink, in your alcohol, in your wine. I'm just, I'm just joking. Some cacala. I'm not on fucking keto for this week, you know, so I could drink so, regular. Coke. So you could actually drink then. So you're gonna take some shots. Bro, COVID beach is closed. Did you steal that? Of course I did. Okay. Oh, cool. I hung it up. I hung it up just to show everyone too, because it's usually on my door. But you're lying. I, probably, I actually could have left it on my door. I didn't realize it's in the shot. <laughs> I kind of moved it for no fucking reason. Actually, I think but, the way that Skype records, it might cut it off, so you might have done the good oh, thing. Oh, really? Okay. Let's so go. You can cheers. See it now, but okay. Okay. All right. All right, Squid. Cheers. 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 Oh, cheers. cheers. Hang on. Go. <laughs> oh, God. That's cringy. All right. Here we go. 
Ugh. Time to silence my phone. Okay. Oh, I already have to go to the bathroom. Are you on to do the podcast tomorrow? <sighs> no, <laughs> I'm already drinking now. All right. So I haven't eaten today, today anything, by the way. I'm going to get fucked up. I already have a feeling. I had a fajita bowl. That's about it. A fajita bowl? Yeah, at work. I what forgot you, you get fajita drinking on. Oh, you got the cool. Coors? Coors Latte? Dude, we had so much alcohol on this trip. Like, we didn't plan this the right way. We didn't have enough. You know, you guys just didn't have enough White Claw. Yeah, no, we didn't. Yeah, I drink beer basically. Whole- you know, you remember the, the saying that I was like, oh, I'm going to buy this White Claw and not even drink it? That never ha- I never got to drink any White Claw. I drank beer the whole time. Well, sorry, you fucking met a boyfriend in fucking Arizona. Oh, Shelby? Shelby, I love that man. That's at the end of the RV trip too. So. Yeah, so we won't even get into that. We'll get, well, we'll know, get before we get into the RV trip, because we have a lot to talk about on the RV trip, I have one thing to bring up. So I'm working today, right? And this girl was gorgeous, bro. I'm talking straight up gorgeous, right? Okay. I'm like, oh. And then she sits at her table and takes off her mask. And she's fucking butt ugly, Jack Lantern of a smile, just the most disgusting human I've ever seen. Jack Lantern smile. Hey, dude, I'm not even lying. Like, I wish that they fucking, like, had to keep their masks on at work. You know what I'm saying? Because that'd be, like, more interesting, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a dick. I, well, I'm you got to think about it, bro. You, you, <laughs> the mask is a real catfish, if you think yeah, about it. Yeah, and I love it. Do you know what? Keep the mask on all the fucking time. So you're saying... So, <laughs> okay, well, let's just say this. Let's just say you meet a girl on Tinder, right? Yeah. Banging hot, right? Yeah. Super fucking hot. And you go on dates with her. She's like, she's super cool, right? Making out with her, kissing, macking. You get home, she pulls out what a did, dick. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? No, uh, uh, no, nothing. Would dude. you just keep the dick tucked? Are you still down to hook up with that girl? If she just doesn't show her dick? No, dude. That's what and I'm plus, saying. It's the same circumstance. Plus, I work at a bar where there are a lot of humans like that. Oh god! I, can, I feel like I could spot it out before that. I think the number one giveaway is the hands, and well, obviously, actually, this has to be the number one, the Adam's apple. Yeah, but they and get that, it shaved down, bro. No, 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 they get it shaved down. How does that work? They they shave down their Adam's apple, so you can't see it. How do you shave an Adam's apple down? I don't fuck it. I'm a, am I a doctor? That's another thing you do. I ask a jet like a question and you just shut me down. Like it's just a fucking question. You act <laughs> well, like I I'm literally. Saying... Well, if if you're if you're gonna give me that advice and say, oh, well they shave it down. You're telling know. me you got that far in the research where you're like they shave it down, but I don't care how they do it. That's what you're telling me. Basically, I'm guessing they open this all up right, and then where your larynx is, they shave it down. I don't know how they do it, With but the they dick. do it. With a dick. Yeah, you do. You that, shove a know. dick down there, up like you get a well, fucking razor sharp dick, and you just fucking deep throat them until it shaves down. Have, have I ever told you this story? I don't know if I have ever told you this story. I don't know. Have yeah. you? I don't. You didn't tell me anything. How am I supposed to know? Um, there's a so you know how we have some LGBTQ members coming to our transgender that come. I don't know what to say, like how to pronounce it. I'm probably yes. incorrect. Someone, LGBTQ gonna probably comment. I don't know. Someone's probably gonna say something that I'm not doing it right. Whatever. I like. I have pride. I, I don't know what to say about it. Well, there's transgenders that come into our work, right? Just to cover yourself. You you have no problem with those people, right? No, I have no problem with it. Like you do. You, right, you now do you're your good. Thing. Now you like, can say whatever okay. you want, dude. Like I have no problem. Um, <laughs> can you fix your camera, by the way? Can you angle it down? No, because then you're gonna see my dirty ass room. Yeah, but you're you gotta realize <laughs> I'm seeing the, your ceiling right now. All right, whatever. It's not. It's that's as best best it's gonna get, I guess. All my dirty clothes. Continue. So. So. The... Um, yeah. So there's a lot of transgenders that come in, right? Mm-hmm. And one day we're like working, and then we notice like there's a guy talking to one, and like we've noticed this all the time. Like, dude, and to be honest, there's one, there's one girl. I yeah, gr- uh, girl. Oh, uh, you should say. All right. <laughs> so I don't know, bad. bro. Like, I'm not PC, dude. I don't fucking judge me. Either way, she pulls more fucking dick than any fucking girl I've ever seen in there, dog. I'm not even lying. Like, Did I saw you her smash? Her... No. <laughs> However, I have seen her boobs. So don't, 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 go, don't even. I don't, <laughs> I 
did that happen? We don't even fucking go there. Okay? I don't want to know. I don't okay. want to know. But like, and there's guys there all the time. Like, and like I'm like, hey, you know, like she she was a man before, right? And then he'll be like, I don't give a fuck. And I was like, that dude's fucking. That dude's dirty. And I fucking love it. You know, like if you're all that about that, like good for you, bro. My coworker but, told me a story that uh, his buddies were out. They're all out at a bar and they were drinking and this this girl was like hitting on the homie and they ended up like going like everyone was like dude that's a dude that's a fucking dude he's like no it's not bro like it's not a fucking dude and then they go outside outside the bar and she starts sucking his dick and then he's like all into it and then he reaches around to go grab her by a pussy and grabs his balls (laughs) and then and then then he, he he's like dude like I was already in. I just let her. Fu- I just let her suck my dick until I finished, and then that was it. <laughs> I guess if it's already happening, it's too late to go back. You know. That's that's what that's what they're saying. Like they're like, if I'm already that invested, and we're already there, fuck it, man. Let's just roll. Let's just fucking roll. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. But either way, gosh damn it. What so, a start. I'm working with one of my uh, coworkers, and I'm just gonna say his name's Fred. Fred, for yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna say his name, but it's Fred. I'm like working with him. He's fucking funny, dude. Like I loved working with this guy, right? But he's sitting there all fucking pissed off. He's like fucking. I'm oh, yeah. like, hey, bro, what's fucking wrong, dog? Like, do, we, like, do we have to kick someone out? Like, is someone trying to fight us or like, because you know we're like bouncers at a bar, so like people yeah. might just like be like dicks to us for no reason. And he goes, nah, dog, it just pisses me off. I'm like, what? And he goes, that dude has no fucking idea that that chick's a dude. Uh, and I'm like, I understand, you know what I'm saying? But like, we work there, like, and they're coming all the time. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna be the the person, right? You go fucking ruin someone's day. It's not, you know. Yeah, it, it, it's a weird, it's a weird like fucking well, thing. I don't know. It's yeah. weird. It's weird. Like, I don't know what to say about it. Well, you know? here's what, what do you when do you think's the right time? As like, if I like, say I w- to turn into a girl, right? This just to put it like if, if I were to turn into a girl and I was on Tinder or something, well, I'm fuck, dude. <laughs> and then, and then, when do you think is the right time for a girl or a guy that claim or a guy, a god, this is bad, but for someone that identifies as a girl, when do you think it's the right time for her to say something, state those facts? I feel like for me, I'd be before like anything like oral, even like kissing or anything like that. I feel okay, like so, should dress so up the guy at the bar, like, like, like if if it's getting more intimate conversation, and it's gonna go somewhere, and like you know, you have an idea if it is, you know. Yeah. It should dress and be like, well, I hope you know, like if you're comfortable, like I I was a man before, but ah uh, yeah. But I think <sighs> most of those people that say that I was a man before, well, they still have a dick, right? No, some of them don't at my work, you know. Oh, they're like completely. They they're they, completely they, they, like they're, they did the dick thing. Yeah, like they're completely like. Yeah. Hey. I'm telling you, like, like at that point, there's no. Yeah. There, you don't need to say it. Just fucking go, and then to, yeah. Yo, imagine, imagine like there was like a super Christian. You know the people that don't have sex until marriage and shit, like super yeah. Christian. Um, imagine this person was dating this this trans, and then you know they they waited till marriage to do anything. And then they get married, and then they're like honeymoon, they're about to fuck, and then she's she's like, yeah, by the way, I have a dick. Hang on, I'm gonna see if this helps. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah, I mean, no. No. Just bring it down. Bring it down. Center yourself. It's a little bit lower. No, you're good. Center. Bring the camera down a little bit more. That's just, yeah, that's about as good as we're gonna get. Okay. So imagine yeah, was, what the fuck. Yeah. Um, whole, imagine getting married to someone and then finding that's like the biggest like, oh fuck. Uh yeah, I don't know. That's weird. But so let me finish my story right here. So he go he goes up to her. He's like, you know, what? I'm fucking. That's it, Justin. I've had enough. I'm like, what are you gonna do? Like, you know, I'm yeah. like, like, oh gosh, is he gonna fucking punch this chick, dude? I don't yeah. fucking know. like. I don't know, right? Yeah. So he goes up like. They're like, he's, she's making out with some guy that's probably 21, 22, you know? Mm. And she walks away, and he goes, he's like, that's it, I've had enough. And he walks up to the guy. And this dude's all fucking stoked, bro. He's giving his buddies high fives. Everyone's, like, cheering him on. 
but only like the workers there know, you know, and he goes up to me, he goes, Hey bro, you just made out with the guy. Wait, you just got and, so close to my face. Go ahead. Yeah. And he goes, you just made out with the guy. He just made out with the guy and just walked away. He just like fucking just walks away. Uh huh. And I remember seeing this all happen. I'm like standing there and this fool went like this to like this. <laughs> this... Just destroyed him, bro. Just destroyed yeah. everything. And I felt like so bad. I was like, and he goes, I feel a lot better. I'm like, bro, you just ruined that guy's whole fucking life right there. Like he. Like, okay. Well, what do you think's better? I think him going home. Like I think he did the right thing by telling him. But then again, I'm like, man, or what if, dude. or or what if this? What if he never went home with her? And then he just never knew. Yeah, exactly my point. <laughs> exactly my point. For, so, forever in his life, he he hooked up with this hot ass chick at the bar. Yeah. He never went home with her, but he's like, damn, I remember hooking up with this chick. Little yeah. Did you know. That would have been way better, right? But, well, yeah, but he can also go with the argument of like, as in like, dude, what if I just you're making out with this chick at a bar, Justin? Like, let's just say you're making out with this chick at a bar, and I go up to you, you just made out with a dude, but it was actually a girl. And I, it, like, you know, what I'm no, saying? dude, <laughs> no, dude, no, dude. Once someone tells you, you can notice it. I'm telling uh, you. So then you're like, okay, that's why his tongue was so big. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> that's why her tongue was like more aggressive than mine. Dude. Oh my gosh. That's, oh gosh. I don't even, All right. Well, anyway, gonna go. this is going to get real let's, bad. I'm, I'm let's, talk, right let's talk about the RV trip because I know okay. a lot of people want to hear about the RV trip. Uh, we were supposed to record an episode on RV trip. Never happened. Trust me, there was no time for that. As much as that we had a 10 days on this trip, this trip was like, it was just like hectic. The whole oh gosh, time. I'm gonna tell you right now, I was had so much fun, but have been so fucking pissed. Like the whole like, Justin was dad of the trip. He was just, yeah. He his name was on the RV, which is understandable. Some people didn't understand that as much as others, but he, his name was. It was his name on RV, so that's why he was so stressed. And uh, I it's get not it. Just that, dude, remember the fucking Grand Canyon? Mm-mm. Oh my gosh, talk about high anxiety, bro. Just fucking a dog. Talk about like straight out of a fucking movie. Stressed. Like, like I've never been stressed where I was shaking. Like I was like fucking no, dude. I was done. So we had two I, two homies. Like okay, so I, I was I was one of them. But you know me. Like I'm still responsible. Were, so like me. And two of the other homies are on the trip that were in the RV. We were, like, on the way to Grand Canyon, and we just started drinking. Like, we were the whole trip, but we were, like, we just started, like, heavily drinking on our way to the Grand Canyon, which is a bad idea in, in general. And I, I said that when I was driving. I'm like, hey, guys, like, slow it down on the drinking. Like, we're going to be at the Grand Canyon. There's no fucking gates or anything like the spot we're going to. It's just. And you know what great. it was, bro? Like, I, I can hold my fu- – I, I know my alcohol. <laughs> So, like, I knew if I were to get too drunk, I would slow down. So, like, I never – like, I was drinking just as much as well, these other And then two. one of the homies then again pissed you off saying stuff about your mom, so you kind of sobered up. Like, that's how pissed you're getting, like – That was on the way? That was on the way. Oh, uh, yeah. I almost fought that fool. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> there were so many almost fights, like I have to say. Yeah, there was. Yeah. And, and then uh, – but anyway, we're on our fucking – we're on the way to the fucking Grand Canyon, bro, the fucking – coolest place in the fucking world but also the sketchiest place for drunk people and we're on our way and we're just fucking pounding drinks pounding them and then the other, these other two guys that i was drinking with end up getting fucking smashed like super fucking hammered i'm just not saying names because i don't yeah no point. we don't need we like they probably singled out like who they really wanted to be like yeah there's six people on the trip, you six my people story, on trip. you'll find out you could probably figure it out yourself and <laughs> investigate yeah. It's not that hard. But anyway, and we get to the Grand Canyon. I, I'm not even kidding, bro. Like, I think Justin saw me have a little orgasm because I, I walked out and I've never seen, and it sounds so corny, but that shit like blew my fucking mind. And I live so close to that shit. I'm going back Dude, and I'm going to get back. a real experience. I, um, I've never been to the South Rim. South Rim was beautiful with all the trees and everything around. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you got to see Horseshoe Bend. Not a lot of people have seen that. Horseshoe Bend. Didn't remember the there? first spot we? Remember the first spot we went to? What's isn't? Are you ta- are you talking to them or me? You. Didn't we go to the Horseshoe Bend? 
That's what I'm saying. You got to see Horseshoe Bend. You're telling me I got to see it. Yes. I did see it. I know you did, but I'm telling you, you, you like fucking took it. Oh my gosh. I was saying you even got to see Horseshoe Bend. Like, you oh, see, you're saying like, like you got to see it. Yeah, you got to oh, see like, it. Oh, like, dude, English is so stupid. No, you're I thought so you were saying, stupid, No, I thought you were saying, like, you got to see it. Like, bro, you got to check it oh, out. Oh, no, no, no. Well, if you guys haven't seen it, you got to see Horseshoe Bend and, so um, nice. and the South Rim is beautiful. I've, I've been to the Grand Canyon before, and I made it a mission to, like, make sure they got to actually see the Grand Canyon because Horseshoe Bend. It's beautiful. Like, it's beautiful, but it's not where, like, you get to see how actually vast and how big the Grand Canyon is. Crazy. And I was like, they never got to see it. Fuck, like, I had to take them to go see the Grand Canyon, we you went, know? We went down. We get to, like, to where, like, we were about to go. We were going to, like, towards the Grand Canyon. And then we see this thing that says road closed. And we were like, fuck it, bro. Like, I don't know why we said fuck it. I'm like, just I go. told you, motherfucker. How long man. did that? How and long did it take? And then here's fucking dad saying the road says fucking closed. I'm not gonna fucking drive over there and have to turn around. Sure just enough, what do I do? It. Everyone, just fucking do it. Just do it. So then fucking dad goes driving down there, wasting a fucking hour of time. Is that an hour? Well, an there? hour we wasted trying to get like up there, and then, like road closed right when we got to like the Grand Canyon entrance. Yeah. It was, like road closed, and the Grand Canyon was so close, like we could see it, like as we we're driving there. But like, she just got out could, of the car. It was thousand dollar fine if we got caught. Okay. I so that's why we didn't. Yeah. yeah. So that's why we ended up driving back. So then I drove all the way to Flagstaff and then back up fucking through whatever fucking I forget the freeway names, but and we here, drove all the way back up. Here's the thing about that though is like so okay, imagine drunk guys, right? Three drunk guys were in the back getting drunk. We, we drunk. Think, but we weren't as we weren't as drunk when we first arrived. So when we first arrived to where we said road closed, we weren't that drunk. Oh like, no, you, you guys weren't that buzzing. drunk. No. And this is this is what went through my head, bro. I had no idea. So like, so then we turned around. I'm like, okay, well that's it. We're not seeing the Grand Canyon. That's what went through my head. And I, I don't, that might have went through the other two fools' heads too because we just started drinking even more, pounding, pounding, pounding drinks. And then I like I kid you not, we literally got to the Grand Canyon. I'm like, all right, where are we at? Like I thought we were at like a gas station or some shit. And they're like, we're at the Grand Canyon. I'm like, what? Like, I had no fucking and idea. And you know what's so funny is I asked you and I asked Jake and Raymond because, oh, fuck. Re- and Brock re- and Noah. I asked, I asked all of them. No, it don't matter who you, the names that you, it doesn't matter the names that are there. It was yeah, just like the story that I, I was asked, telling. I don't oh, want yeah, to yeah, yeah. Well, I asked everyone. I was like, where do you guys want? You guys want to go to the Grand Canyon? You got, because no one's seen it besides me, I feel like. Yeah, no yeah. one saw it, right? So I was like, do you guys want to see it? And they're like, yeah. And it was like, we barely got to see that. We barely got to see that sunset. And I was like, okay. So I booked it all. Oh gosh, that was such a fucking long drive. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah. And it was fun though. I, I, like maybe we could see a funny video of two of the homies fucking yelling at me on video. It was pretty funny. Give me fucking water. I hate fucking water. <laughs> we didn't well, have yeah, water so... for eight hours, and then we didn't oh, have water, and it's yeah. fucking like 110 out, no water. Oh, dude. So we finally get to the fucking Grand Canyon, bro. And like, and I'm like, I, like I said, I was like, fucking, oh my god, it was so fucking nice and so crazy. And then those two drunk guys were like, one of them was still like, he fell asleep. And then he was in the RV. And I was like, all right, whatever. He's just gonna miss out on it. And then, and then the other guy was just fucking like, a, oh my god, he was just obliterated. Standing on the fucking edge of the Grand Canyon. And this is where my anxiety came in. I'm like, he's drunk already, right? Yeah. So I'm like. He's already drunk, and now he's standing on the edge. And then we, every time we try to get him back like, in, like, when I hey, talk bro, about when we're talking about an edge, we're not just talking about like, like this guy. I'm was it heels off the fucking Grand Canyon, oh five hundred feet to the flight God. Floor. Like, and it's I, deeper than that. It's deeper I, than that. Fuck. I have a picture I took at the Grand Canyon, and I there, there was like this rock. You had to jump onto this rock. And that just that alone gives Justin anxiety. But I I like I well because everyone's was, drunk besides me. Like, yeah. So you have to realize no, but like, I was at that point I I, I was not dr- like I was not drunk. Like I I was like totally fine. But then uh, the other guy comes and he starts fucking guts on the same rock with me and he's like, Yo, should I do a fucking gainer? I'm like, just like, it's a funny joke now, but in the moment you can't you can't feed into that shit. You're like, I'm like, D- dude, stop. Just fucking stop. And then that uh, influences him more when you tell him to stop. And he starts walking backwards on this fucking big ass rock. Starts walking backwards. Yo, sure. I, I'm like, yo, stop. And I went to go like, like what he was saying. Like you went to go for him. He would move back further. 
so you're like okay so then you gotta like think like like it was like it was like insane and then this fool literally walking backwards his heels are on the edge of the rock and he's just like standing. I'm I'm pretty sure his heels were off the edge. No, his rock. heels were off because when I walked up, I said I told like the other fools that were there. I'm like, just go in the fucking RV right now. Yeah. Because if you keep fucking and feeding into it, he's just gonna do it more. Yeah. And sure enough, we end up leaving, and then he ends up just coming in. But oh gosh, and then I'm holding the other idiot. Like he's like, let me go see the Grand Canyon, and he's all drunk, and I'm like holding him so you can see it. Yeah. Like, I'm literally like, bear hugging him like like this. Like you see it, bud? And he goes, Yeah, dude, this is dope. Meanwhile, he's got a fucking mullet on, fucking all drunk as shit. Now you're, now you're giving away clues. Guess what? Solve fucking, the riddle, boys. <laughs> solve the, at least he wasn't fucking hanging off the fucking Grand Canyon. That's the only thing I have to say. He's just yeah, drunk. Like, he was he was drunk and he never got stupid close to the to the edge. He was just he was just drunk. Yeah, he was just, he was just drunk. Just, so we were just being extra cautious. Yeah. And then the other guy, you couldn't even be cautious like cautious with him because he was just like I like Justin said. The, the more you try to, like, you fed into it is the more he, he went with it and made it worse. So <laughs> that was that was towards the end uh, of the trip, too. And that, yeah. <laughs> honestly, we probably might not get into everything about this RV trip, this fucking podcast. It was 10 days. It was 10 yeah. days. So what's that, that funny, was one of what, the, What's some funny highlights, Piss Baby? I got – okay, you want to talk about Piss Baby? <laughs> all right. So first of all, the backstory on Piss Baby – is uh if you ever hear us say piss baby you damn fucking piss baby like you yeah. this is like the backstory go ahead give well, it well the back the real the backstory on the backstory is, is 100 gex right 100 or... gex and i'll play i'll play a fucking quick snippet of the beginning of the fucking song piss baby yeah. <laughs> So then that was our anthem of the RV. And so are you pouring a shot? Yeah, I am. That was our anthem. And Piss Baby wasn't really mentioned at all until this story happened. So we're we're driving through, I think we're in Utah. Oh fuck, let's talk about this too. Fucking damn piss baby keep fucking sm- I almost so this is like the first fucking anger spot of fucking dad come out. I'm driving and we just had a flat tire and we get in the Utah, and then someone fucking keeps smacking my fucking head or touching my head while I'm driving. So if you and, can imagine, like a, an RV, like, okay, there's the the driver's seat and then the passenger seat, and then above that is where people could stay. Like there's a bed, and then there was <laughs> the homie was on top, and he was drunk per usual. Everyone was drunk the whole trip. <laughs> Everyone was and drunk the kept, whole trip. He kept basically. fucking slapping Justin on the. On, he's up there, and he would come down and just fucking slap him and go back up. And then, yeah, you were just getting super fucking pissed. I have that on video, too. I'm not going to be able to show it right now because yeah. it's on my actual video camera. And I'm going to, uh, in the future, I'm making, I made, like, this, like, documentary of the fucking 10-day trip where I'm just going to put all the fucking, the whole trip together. And then that shit's not going to come out for a while, I'll be honest. <laughs> because, one, I got this podcast I'm going to have to edit a lot. And then, two... um. It is so fucking long, and it's gonna take. We were there for 10 editing, days. editing doesn't happen, especially with videos like that. It doesn't happen in days, so that shit probably won't come out till next year for sure. But anyway, yeah, that fool kept slapping him in the fucking head, and then I just, <laughs> uh, it got to the point where, like at first I'm laughing at it, I'm recording, and well, it's, it's funny, funny at first. But when I was like, dude, I'm driving, I'm on the freeway with like in Salt Lake City, like 
It's not Salt Lake City, by the way. When you're driving on that freeway, there's a whole bunch of construction going on, and I have oh. no fucking idea where I'm going. And, and there's the cars fuck is everywhere. Utah full of construction, by the way. Yeah, everywhere we went in Utah was full of construction. That's a whole other fucking clusterfuck. Oh shit! Can you hear me going get all pissed off dad mode again? We're in Utah, fucking. And then, uh, oh my god, it's just funny because that you brought that up of him. Are you about to throw up? No, dude. I'm just grabbing the fucking. Your camera's coaster. moving, dude, by itself. There's a ghost in your house or what? <laughs> anyway, this fool's on top, just stabbing Justin. And I was like recording on my cam, my actual camera recorder. We're all laughing at it. It's funny as fuck. It's it's funny to watch your homie get pissed to a certain extent. So then, so then, then it started to get into like you could tell like. At first, Justin was like, whoever's doing that, fuck off. It's all funny. It's all funny. And then you could tell Justin got to the point where he's like, he's about to fucking fight this fool. And I'm like, all right. And then every time I would see the fool come down, he would poke his head down. I'm like, at that point, I was like, yo. (laughs) Chill. (laughs) I'm not bleeping it out. Fuck it. You can say who it is. And I was like, just chill, dude. Because you know what? Whatever. And then I was like. I'm telling you know I'm telling him to chill. He's blacked out by the way at this point. He really was blacked out. He doesn't remember it. Well, you know what set me off though is he already fu- he tried smoking a cigarette at the gas station. And got oh, all pissed God. off at us. Not you a remember, cigarette, like, a, c- a cigar. He, sc- he tried cigar, smoking a cigar, cigar, like a c- cigarillo, at a fucking gas station while we're pumping gas. And so oh I'm my like, God. And we're in Utah. I'm not in the state. Dude, I know. Like and you know, every like, I, all every si- like dude, because I'm the first one to see. It. I, I was the first one to see it. I was like, stop! What the fuck are you doing? And then as soon as you heard me say that, you're like, what the fuck is going on? You jumped hey. in that shit, and you're like, dude, you were like, you went in on him. I just he, grabbed it, it and just threw it. I just grabbed yeah. it and threw it on the floor. I was done no, with like, it. Because like, you, because even after I said something, he was like, what? And he was like, what? And then <laughs> tried to, oh my God, yeah. so dumb. So, God dude, damn it. I'll, in the first fucking two stories of this RV trip, it really makes, I hope my mom's not listening to it, because it's really going to make people worry about how yeah. dumb we were on this trip. Yeah. Yeah, so then I'm like fucking okay, right? So and then you can imagine if someone keeps touching my fucking head after dealing with that, and I'm driving in traffic, I'm gonna get fucking pissed. And then I remember I almost I was so close to beating whoever up was like I knew who was doing it after a while. I almost beat up whoever was doing it though. Like I legit like almost got off the freeway. You remember that? Oh no, he I I was in the like the carpool lane basically. He goes like this. He goes. He goes. I mean, this is when I was like, all right, uh, he, he goes down and he hits him again. And he goes, if you fucking hit me one more time, I'm going to pull his fucking car over. I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, and then you could, like, he was, Justin was pissed. And then I just, I just see that fold go over one more time. And then I see him, like, you probably didn't know this. I mean, I think you did, but no, he was like, because I felt him touch my head. And he, he was, was like going around yeah. you. He was like being like a little kid just fucking around, like, like, ooh, not touching you, not touching you, not touching you. He was doing that behind your head, and he was, like, pretending to, like, look at you and, like, just do dumb shit. And I was like, just stop, dude, just stop, just stop. Like, it's not, it's over with, just stop. And then, sure enough, he threw a he hat at you or something. No, he goes like this. He like, touches my head, like, crushes it, and smacks me in the head and then goes up. And I grabbed my water ball, threw it up, and then I, like, I immediately started getting over Oh, and I, then, don't know. I also remember this though. You before that happened. Oh, I it, fucking hit my hand on the yeah. fucking thing, dude. Before it, the fool put the hand down, and Justin, like he was ready. Like uh, the fool in the passenger seat said, like that fool was <laughs> Justin was looking in the mirror, like ready. And then he saw the hand, and he fucking full as hard as he can, kind of smack and just oh, fucking dude, I caught, smack. I caught- he smacked I, the fucking the wooden frame of the I fucking. I caught bed. that shit on my fucking knuckles so bad, bro. I was, like, I was that so. Pissed you off uh, more. I think that kind of fucking pissed me off way more. But either way, I was fuming. I was yeah, fuming so right then, there. So then finally, there's a lot of stories of me getting mad. There's probably like oh, a yeah. lot. That's why I got stories. you. That's why I got you the little sheriff badge because you're the sheriff. <laughs> of the Dude, I still have it. I don't even know where it's at. It's it's somewhere in here. I have it's it. Not even, but anyway, it says yeah. Justin sheriff thing. But then the final one, he hits him. And I just remember, I was like, oh, my God, Justin's about to beat his ass right now. I just remember seeing, I was like, God, I make sure I have my camera out for this shit. But he he's in, like, the like far lane, and he cuts over all the lanes, and then he gets into the fucking, to the exit lane, lane. Uh, exit lane. 
And I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, he's like, he, he's not lying. He's about to do this shit. And then I think uh, someone turned music on or something that kind of distract. Like, it, like I think uh, the fool that was in the pattern no, sheet. Like, what, what came down to was, I don't want to slow down. Like, I'm trying to get to Yellowstone because yeah. you're on a time crunch, yeah, dude. Yeah. So I'm, like, sitting there. And just no, I feel like just like him. If you didn't have that- time to think, and because you're in the exit lane for a while. Yeah. If, if you wouldn't have time to think, you would have pulled over. Oh, if, if it was like instant, and I pulled like yeah. if I was like one lane over, and it was like immediate. Oh, it would have been the game over. Right. There would have been there would have been blows thrown, and then fucking that would have been it. I don't even know how blows would have been thrown because he was on top. Oh, I would have climbed. I would have climbed up there and beat the shit out of him. I really would have. Oh, there's just like this much space. Oh, I, I don't care. I would have fucking. I would have got up there, held his feet, and just fucking kicked him in the fucking face. I was that pissed. I was that pissed. Camera's moving again. But yeah, so they, oh. so anyway, this is this comes back to the piss baby story. Even though we already played the little soundtrack. Oh, for fucking it. later on. Fucking so later shit. on, uh, <laughs> we're just, homie we're, Jake's the homie Jake. You have to say Jake's in the passenger side. Yeah. And he goes, dude. And I even said, I was like, put homie's piss pads down. Homie pisses himself. <laughs> he does. You have to edit out the name now. You have yeah, to edit I'll, the name. I'll edit out the name. So this, one of our homies that's on the trip out of the six, you investigate. When he, gets, <laughs> he, he blacks out, he pisses himself when he sleeps. And he, he was the same guy that was hitting him in the head. So he was already up there. And... People are gonna know who it is. But anyway, there he's up there, and uh, he falls asleep because he was blacked out. And <laughs> we're driving, and then the homie Jake was in the passenger seat, and just like out of knowing the homie, he was like, "I'm just gonna like," because it was like a pad. You like you, goes, if you're in the if you're in the passenger seat, you I could, just. I just see him go like this. So I'm driving, right? And I'm just like kicking it, and something starts dripping on my head. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's what going to happen. No, he goes up, he goes up, and he goes, Homie pissed. Like, just fucking straight up, like, like the straight story, dude. The, oh, That's shit. That's <laughs> what I was just about to bring up because I was like, How fucking ironic is it that, yeah. that Jake? Tells you the the homie pissed. Yeah, it's like, it's like the second time he's done that. Yeah, and then he goes like, "Oh no, that's foul!" And I see it, and I can just see the ring like on yeah. the fucking like the pad. And then I was like, "Gosh damn it!" Oh, you see, and there he goes, fucking RV's in my name, fucking daddy, fucking getting pissed. So yeah, yeah. And then well, we you, had end up. You made him fucking did, clean that uh, he shit. He cleaned so. it. He cleaned it. But he did with no soap. He just fucking rinsed it. So whoever it, he just threw it in the wash and like. <laughs> Just let it wash. I gotta say this. The RV that we had alone was a piece of shit. Oh, hands down. I would there were so rent. many fucking problems. I would never rent from Cruise America again. There's other RV companies that are better to rent from. I'm just don't rent from Cruise America. It's just there were so many things wrong with this fucking RV. Like I, I could, the list can go on. Yeah. And Jake made the most fucking valid point ever at the end of the trip. This is, dude, it like, it just made perfect sense. So, like, just to get out that, like I said, there were so many problems with this RV that we had from the beginning. And then there's a lot of problems that we did, like, you know, pissed on the bed. Uh, there's a couple things that we broke. Oh, and they all didn't notice shit. the fridge. They didn't notice the fridge breaking either. Good. So, but there's a lot of things that broke, right? Or the, not a lot, but you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of shit that we toilet, did. Toilet, RV. toilet, no, no, but first off, toilet started leaking an hour into the RV trip. Yeah. It was bad, like. But, but what Jake said, the most valid thing that he said was, <laughs> he said, after this RV trip that we had and all the damage that we did to that fucking RV, they're just going to sweep it up and polish a little bit and give it to the next person. Exactly and I was what like, did. Oh my god, that's so fucking right. Cause like, dude, like, dude, we did some damage to the RV. Like, we got away oh, with some oh. shit, probably. Bro, but. you you don't realize what I did. I fucking was on the floor scrubbing the floors and fucking I cleaned that bitch. I mean, yeah, that's 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 what's up. And actually, I don't. I would say I feel bad that you had to clean it. But the other day, the other podcast, you told me, oh. I used to, I'm I'm such a good friend with you, Justin. You know, I'm such a good friend with you, Justin, that I don't need to fucking clean because at my I'm house, at my with... house is different. At my fucking, oh, no, 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 no. on the RV, hey, and your bitch ass got away without fucking paying I for did. gas. And, and what? You got away with paying out paying for gas on the way back and on the way there. That's why well, on I the paid... way there you did. 
No, that's why I paid. I did pay. I paid for gas twice. Everyone else paid four times. No, you're lying. That's exaggerated. Four times. No, I'm not. I sh- four times. Okay, well, you guys drove more. But anyway. <laughs> what? But we had to pick you up in Arizona, you fucking dingleberry. Move your fucking can out of your face, because I can't see your face. But anyway. Oh, you want to see my face? It's so beautiful. But anyway, uh, what I was going to say about that was uh, the reason I, you know, and you know me for a fucking, and I, if you don't say I would have not, if I would have been there cleaning. I'm just fucking with you. No, I'm just but fucking I, with you. No, but I, but, no, besides the gas part, but the cleaning oh. part, you know me as a fucking human. I really hope you do. If I was there, you best believe I'd be fucking cleaning that shit with you. Yeah. The next day. It wasn't. It wasn't that bad. You guys bad. dropped me off in Arizona and went to California. That's the only reason why I wasn't there to clean. It wasn't that bad. It was just like, there's like little shit that I realized, like, dude, goldfish under the seats and stuff. Like, I'm like, oh, gosh, I remember that damn. happening too, actually. And you know what pissed me off even more is like, it's all the shit that I did not have any involvement in that I ended up cleaning, like you know. Oh yeah. So I was like. I was like, oh. But that, I could just use that same argument about every time you guys come to my house. You start 90% of the mess that you want us to make. No. Does that make sense? Kind of. Because I get you drunk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid bitch. Um, let's talk about A&W. Oh, no. Don't talk about A&W. I, that shit pisses me off. <laughs> It was so good. No, I don't care what you that say. shit was, was not so g- oh It was so God. good, dude. I I enjoyed it, but you know what? This fool got me a root beer float this big. I I was like dying after I started trying to eat A&W, it. A&W, root beer float, A1. I've had it before. I didn't have it this time. But let me tell you this. We stop in the middle of where were we? In Idaho, dude. We're we're like in a no- I don't Idaho. even know what city we're in Idaho. We're just somewhere in Idaho. We're, like, we're in fucking there's nothing Utah, around. There's we're a gas station. We're literally in Utah at a fucking gas station in the middle of butt fuck nowhere, right? There's a subway somehow. There's a subway somehow, an yeah. RV park, and then a fucking a taco time. Stop. <laughs> taco so, good time, so we dude. fucking we pull over at this gas station now, to get gas. Off, First off, you guys are a bunch of princesses. You guys, you guys it's fucking disgusting in there. I never went in, by the way. Yeah. But that's not my point of this whole fucking A&W shit. Okay, what's your point? Oh, my God. This shit still infuriates me. Not really. You know, I'm just over-exaggerating. But this, we went, we stopped at this gas station. I'm not even lying to you. We are at this gas station. A gas station for two hours. Two fucking hours. We were not there for two hours. Yes, we were. Yes, we were. Ask Jake. Ask anyone. We were there for two hours, dude. Because you guys went on your little adventure. No, we went on the adventure because let me get to it. Oh, by the way, I'm going to say this. I still wanted A&W, but I didn't get in line and wait for it. That's cool. I'm down for you getting A&W. Cool, whatever. We stopped at this gas station in Idaho at a fucking A&W. These fools, like, they're hungry. Cool. Bro, they go into this fucking gas station a and and I don't know about you guys, but I, I categorize, 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 is that how you say that? Why does it sound weird? Oh fuck, no. no, I'm not even going to correct you. Just go ahead. No, Just because you can't say it right. Uh, categorize. Categorize. Okay. I missed something there. I missed like a little something. cataract, cataract. cataract All right, so what did you say? What did you say? I don't know. Oh, Cater- I said categorize. No, <laughs> you can't even. You mispronounce it so bad. You can't even mispronounce it again. This bad. No, that's what I said. Oh yeah. Okay, right. squint. Oh yeah, anyway, squint. Okay, squint. <laughs> anyway, we stop at this place and I cater- categorize. Oh god. A and W with fast food kind of food. It's you can't tell me that's a restaurant type. Uh, fucking- Yes, you're right. It's not a restaurant. Okay. I wouldn't say it's a restaurant. However, Especially because it's in a gas was, station. When was the last time you had A&W food? Never, because it doesn't sound appealing to me at all. Well, you said Dairy Queen's ass, and it's not ass. Dairy Queen's actually good. No no one in their fucking right mind ever says, <laughs> yo, what do you want? Do you want fast food? Yeah, what do you want? Dairy Queen. No one's ever said that, ever. You've never wanted the DQ. You've never driven by like, fuck, I'm going to get DQ. Not for the food. I'll go to Dairy Queen for ice cream. 
Dude, you're fucking up. No, I'm not. Anyway, to the fucking point. I kid you fucking not. They order fucking, what'd you get, chicken strips? Oh, I got chicken strips, yeah. They both did. They get chicken strips. Well, I just, I originally just wanted fries with my root beer float. You guys want to guess how long they waited for those chicken strips? You guys want to guess? Let me give you a second to guess. Oh, five minutes? Nah. Ten minutes? Nah. Thirty minutes? Nah. Yeah, 45 no, fucking minutes. Dude, it was not 40, 45 minutes. Yes, it was. Because we waited in line. We didn't, like, order our food and it took that long. Who waits Definitely in line? Waited. Who waits in a 45-minute line? For it wasn't 45 minutes line. A&W chicken it was strips. Probably, it was probably like a 10-minute line. Homie, no. No. It was 45 minutes. Listen, and if I, I would have went to the gas station. Okay, but either way, either way, I put it this way. I didn't wait. Wait in the line. You can't get mad at me about this. I got my food out of there, yes, but I didn't wait in the line. I got, we got gas. I'm not mad. And at then that. I don't know. I'm you're more pissed. Upset. Look at you. You're so upset. Yeah, I am. You, fucking heated. You're fucking pissed, dude. Because and then they get their fucking chicken strips and, and there's green shit and they're they have no, green, no, no. Okay, mine was fine. Mine was well, fine. Fucking Raymond's fucking chicken strips had green stuff in it. And I'm, my guess it is lettuce. And I said you waited 45 minutes for green chicken strips? What the fuck is going on here? I have such bad ADD. I keep touching my shit, my drawers yeah. and everything. Well, we waited at that gas station for two hours. It was, it's unbelievable. Jake, okay, so this is, this is, this is why you, you called us princesses. I never went in. But Justin, Jake was like, there's no <laughs> What do you say? What do you say? Goes, I walk in there. And no, it's a monstrosity. I'm... It's a monstrosity. I can't yeah. even fucking look at the people in there. Yeah. Even the people. I almost gagged when I walked in. Dude, this guy, his fucking vocabulary. Oh <laughs> yeah, this Jake, Jake has the best. I love it, dude. It literally I love makes, it too. It but literally it makes, makes you, me, like, I enjoy it. You know he what? Doesn't talk, like... He doesn't talk like normal people. Like, like. I don't talk about normal because I have low vocabulary, but this guy has like very like he has high vocabulary, but like uses it in like the weirdest ways. Like it's like, like the other day he was he instead of saying like bro you like some some like say you want to go get some sleep or like you want to lay no, down. No, no. What, what was it? What was it when he walked in the tent? He goes, "It's vast in here." Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. In, he, like it's he fucking in the, vast in here. He goes but, like it's a big tent. And he goes, "It's so vast in here." Yeah. You can fucking action. <laughs> Yeah, so then, so then there's another thing he says. He goes, uh, he he ended up going to sleep for a little bit, like maybe five minutes to like a power nap. Most people say, "Yo, I just had, I just had to lay my head down, or I just had to lay, I had to get some sleep." <laughs> this one said, "You know what this fucking guy said?" He said, "Bro, I just had to get horizontal." <laughs> I just had to get horizontal, like I just oh, had. Oh, dude. Like, was... What the fuck did you just say? Oh, dude. But anyway, so that fool walks into – Justin comes back from – because Justin went into the a and and then came out. And I think the other homie waited in line for him. And then this fool comes in, and Jake's like, bro, why are you guys fucking in there? That's just – that place is, sounds disgusting. A and w and Jack in a Box. Or uh, a gas station. Taco, like taco time, dude. And it had a taco time so on top of the – Someone could probably actually find where we were at, Taco Time, and the A&W in Idaho. Yeah, Somewhere yeah. there. Like, we were just like... Yeah. So then fucking Jake says, he's like... So then Justin comes in, like, bro, it's not that bad. Like, it's actually pretty fucking clean in there. Like, it's actually really nice. And my so standards then, are low. Let's put it this way. I fucking yeah. ate bacon off the fucking, like, street yesterday. I'm not shit. You know, I dropped I dropped a piece of bacon. I was eating a sandwich, and there was bacon in it. And I dropped a piece of bacon on, the like, the street, and I picked it up and ate it. I'm pretty fucking gross. So you fuck yeah. it. I don't care. So then, so then Jake, he's like, he gets convinced. Justin convinces him. Jake's like, all right, well, I'm hungry. I could grab something then. Jake walks in to the fucking A uh, and W at the gas station. <laughs> he literally opens the door, and he says he opens the door. He goes, he took a quick glance, and then just fucking turned around and walked out. Like, he's like, that place, he's like, there's not a chance I would ever eat from that fucking place in my life. And then, but you know what's so funny? It says the guy that eats from Jack in the Box, like, every other day. I hate Jack in the Box. If you eat Jack in the Box, pff, that's how I feel. Do you know how I feel about you? Even though I eat Jack in the Box, and every time I've eaten Jack in the Box, it fucks me up, but god damn, I hate Jack in the Box. What about Del Taco? 
Del Taco. By the way, Del Taco sucks down. anywhere else but in California. I'm gonna Thank say you. It right now. Thank I'm gonna you. say it. I'm gonna say it right now. But you made me get it. You're like, oh, we could try Del Taco. And you like, want to know why I made bad. you get it? No, no, no. You did this to get me pissed. Even not, though really, I pissed. not necessarily to get you pissed, but I can see up your nose right now. But not necessarily to get you pissed. It's more about, oh God, please, dude, it's actually, I I actually feel uncomfortable because I have you on full screen. So There's your no, nostrils look at are alien. Look, 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 look at an alien. But anyway, so I, the reason why I took Justin to uh, Del Taco, because we were in Arizona. <laughs> He was in Arizona the last day, and he we I took him to the gun store to go get some whatever. Uh, and we were about to go get something to eat, and I was like, I've I've been telling him he was like, bro, is Del Taco really like not as good over here? I'm like, bro, it's not. And then when he when he said that, it triggered something in my mind. I was like, I gotta make him eat the Del Taco now because I want him to understand that I'm not just saying this shit. It's fucking true. So. Because Del Taco in California, you guys, if you – I know everyone that I'm probably listening lives in California. Oh, my God. You're taking it for granted if you like Del Taco because I miss Del Taco. And I've always said this. Del Taco has always been my number one fast food joint ever. If I were to have to, like, have one fast food joint before I, like, for the rest of my life, it would be Del Taco. They have, they have like, burgers. They have burritos, and the burritos are so good. Well, now they have chicken strips too. And if you, if you guys want to know about some secret shit, I'll let, I'll let you in on it. Go to Del Taco and ask for the stoner burrito. Dude, okay. <laughs> okay. First off, you, you act like that's a fucking secret. Everyone and their mo- no. mothers, I know that order that. No, I've, and, I've, I, dude, I've introduced at least eight people to that shit. Who'd you introduce that to? Okay, you want me to really give names? No, I'm just saying that. I think I, you're I fucking total fool. No, I swear to God, on my whole entire life, I introduced my whole family to it. My, my whole family here. And then I also introduced Alec. I'm, I don't want to. I, I, I guess I don't need to bleep names. I introduced Alec, Marquise, and Kendall all to that shit. Danny Martinez. Why did I give his last name? I don't know. But I introduced all those fools to it. They had no idea about it. This is a, uh, this you, is like you know why? It's because you're you're a fucking Seal Beach fucking like lope guy, and you think that that's the norm, but it's not. A lot of people don't know about the fucking Stoner Burrito. But anyway. Stoner burrito. It's called a. It's by the way, it's called bean cheese burrito bold. Can I get a bean and cheese burrito bold? That's what you have to say. Yeah. You so. Know, oh, 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 I get you. And you go. Okay. <laughs> Can I get a bean yeah. cheese burrito bold? Yo, bold? let me let me be let me be the guy that orders and you be the you guys you be the guy okay, that okay. register. <laughs> okay, go go go. Wait, can I be the Jack in the Box or my Del Taco? Do you want to do Jack in the Box or do Jack? In the you box? gotta go. Uh, can you want a yumbo yet? Hello. <laughs> yeah, can I can I get a uh... <laughs> Let's finish this. We gotta finish the order. Thank you. Uh can I get uh <laughs> No thank you, I don't want that. Can I can I get um can I get a number three please? A number three? Yes. No cheese or not? Uh, no cheese, please. I I I have IBS. <laughs> what? Uh, co- uh, Dr. Pepper. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what you're saying. Regular fry or curly fry? You know the fries cold? You know the chocolate? Can I get curly fries, please? Is it curly fries or curly fries or no? Okay. Do you like sauce or not? Uh, what? Do you like any sauce or that? Yeah, yeah. Can I get uh ketchup? Okay, ketchup. <laughs> All right. Put some pixie out the window. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hey, anyway. You want to do Del Taco now? You want to do Del Taco? So they I guess. Let's do Del Taco. <laughs> hey. Hi, oh, what would you like Del Taco? <laughs> <laughs> can I get a um, two stoner burritos? And um, can I get a carne? Can I get carne asada fries, please? And uh, let what me. What are stoner burritos? No, you, be honest. This is okay. what I was going to get. Well, this... No, no, no. See, this is what I'm saying is you have to order them bean cheese burritos bold no, with you red. Don't. 
You could say stoner burritos, but not a lot of places know them. I've okay, got a Del no, Taco. Majority, that... majority of California places know this. They buy stoner burritos, yes. But if you want to be, the, if you want to do it the cool way, ask for a stoner burrito at Del Taco. <laughs> if you want to do it the cool way, because it's it's a lot easier than saying this. Can I get a half pound bean and cheese burrito? But can you make a bolt? That's the simple. That's like the real way to say it. But I and I, I'm not saying this to fuck with you guys. You can literally say this, and there's one the ones in Seal Beach guarantee thousand percent. You can say yeah, stoner yes. burrito, like literally say stoner burrito, and they will give you this. So basically, what it is is well, most, most places in so in most places that you're gonna go to Del Taco if you listen to us, you could say stoner burrito. That's what I'm saying. I've been in I've been in uh, places. I've in been Arizona. in. <laughs> you know, no, 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 bullshit. Because we're in Arizona, you're like, can I get three stoner burritos? And she goes, <laughs> and you're like, can I get three stoner burritos? No, no I. No, no, I immediately no, bitched no, out. No, no, no. I immediately she, bitched out. Dude, and then she was like, and then you're like, okay, can I get a bean and cheese burrito bowl? With two red and one green? And they gave us all fucking red. Oh, sure. And then she gave us fucking no sauce. Oh my god, you fell in love with that girl. I forgot. Oh, she had beautiful eyes, by the way. This is hey, holla, holla at fucking uh, girl in, is it Glendale or Peoria or wherever? And uh, AZ, if you work at a Del Taco, you have the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. All right, so all I got to say is this real quick. Um, just for people that don't know what it is, it's it's a bean and cheese burrito, and they add the secret sauce in it, and then you could get red or green sauce with it, and then they put French fries the fuck, oh and my God, cheese burrito. In, inside it. It's so good. It's like my favorite thing ever. But anyway, let's get to the dumb topic of the day, huh? Oh, yeah, it's actually right. We're getting... We have more stuff to talk about the RV. Also, I have like like Way five more. more things written down about the RV. I have I have like nine more things to talk about. But anyway, uh, let's just get. I have some old dumb uh, topics today. Didn't, but I didn't did. Didn't a whole bunch of people topic like? Do we say we talk about theirs later on or something like that? Didn't we? Didn't they give us a whole bunch of shout outs? Don't you have that written down somewhere? Yeah, but I also just asked on my uh, Instagram today. Uh, real quick. Uh, so, and you know how this works, Justin, and you've been in this podcast <sighs> six times, so don't answer the question until it's done, okay? No. What? Okay, so, so you pick, and these are just going off, oh, they're all dumb. Okay. I just asked this today, and, and I didn't have enough time for a lot of people to read it, so here we go. Dumb topic of the day. And then I'll also go into our old ones, because, no, we, all right. So here we go. I don't know who this is off the top of my head just by the name, but they just said hookers, okay? Oh, and then, gosh. No, don't, don't respond. Oh, gosh. And then this next one, it goes, can we get – can men get pan, uh, pedicures? And yes. then Justin – Just talk about it. Just talk about it. Just talk about it. <laughs> we're talking about that one. It's too late. We're did, talking about it. Guys, did I not just say – okay, we're just talking about it. He's right. You're right. <laughs> we're right. just going to talk about it. All right, you're right. Okay. I hope to God this this podcast <laughs> runs smoothly and records smoothly. Well, imagine we just do this whole thing and nothing happens. It was still funny. You know, I don't know. I said fun. Oh, yeah, you're right. Damn, you're a good guy. No. Right. Do you don't mean that? <laughs> okay. All right, I'm taking a shot before because... Yeah, I'm taking a shot also because I'm not pussy. What? Yeah. No one called you a pussy. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Okay, squirt. Okay, right, squirt. Hey, do you have any uh, do you have any shout outs to give anyone right now? Oh shit, dude, it's been so long. I don't even know. I, right. Cheers. I probably do, I probably should shout out people, but sorry if you're on my phone, shit, and I forget. Cheers. I'm sorry. Oh shit, sorry. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh you guys want to see the Yellowstone shit? I gotta say this though. I do gotta say this. I'm not gonna lie, bro. When we missed the podcast this last uh, when this last Wednesday, um, I did I didn't think anyone would give a fuck. And then people were all fucking giving me sad emojis and saying calling me a bitch and calling me lame. Well, and you are a bitch and you are lame. And so. then. <laughs> You know they're calling us lame, and they're calling us. Oh no 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 no! no, 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 no. <laughs> hey 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 hey! Yeah you might. Hey shut up! Fuck up! No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but anyway, so I I didn't I know, I don't know. It's 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 cool to see that. I don't know. I'm, I'm a bitch. 
Um, and while we're here, let's, let's worship our God in... Never mind. Uh, don't, don't be weird. <laughs> don't be weird. While we're here, oh, our, our spirits are here together. You go fucking pet rocks, you fucking let's take, bitch. Let's take a moment to think. I'm going to show why. you my brown eye right now if you fucking keep doing okay, this shit. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Can men get pedicures? Well, that was not the question, right? Yes. It, okay. And I'm going to say yes. Men can't get pedicures. You want to know something weird? You want to know something weird? What? That happened today? What? It's not weird. It's Is Leanna embarrassing to me. Not, yeah, but no. It's embarrassing. But what? I'll say it. I'm here to. I'm here to. How is it myself. embarrassing, Squint? Like what's so hear... embarrassing? Stop moving your camera. Dude, I don't mean to, bro. I'm fucking set up all. I weird, can't believe bro. I'm about to say this right now. This is something I don't even like talking about. Okay, I think Justin knows, but there's there's one thing that li- it's like the it grosses me out, and this is like nails, like uh nails gross me the fuck out people bite their nails like i literally get a weird feeling in my stomach sorry i bite my nails guys yeah. i see me do it on the show too i just do so and you know i'm not bad about my with my fingers because i don't know why i pick my nails it's weird whatever i pick my nails so my my fingers are always clean i pick my nails when i'm drunk it's a weird thing that i do so as long as I get drunk, my 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 fingers will be cool. My toenails, on the other hand, I I get so grossed out to cut my own f- fucking toenails. I get like really grossed out. Like I just it, I'm cringing thinking about it. And and this is like a, I I there has to be like a real science, like a medical term, whatever you want to call it. Because you know there's like a fear of spiders or a fear of this. Like I have a fear of like. I'm cringing talking about it of nails. Like it literally grosses me out so Metophobia. much. Metophobia. I think I have no idea. Oh well, my god. Podiatrist. Podiatrist is foot. But anyway, so it's pedophobia. So I, 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 I I can we just do this if I'm right? You look it up, I'm gonna keep talking. All right, and on. so my my toenails tend to grow longer than they need to be because I just I literally try my hardest to not go near them because it grosses me out. And then today, my my girl, uh, well, my I'm not just gonna say today. My girl typically clips my toenails for me. Like that's how bad I am. And then you don't even want to know how much of a bitch I am when I'm getting my toenails clipped. I'm really clear. I'm I'm honestly cringing thinking about it. It's just like, like today she was just cutting my nails, and I'm like, the, every time she I hear it, I I just like my body clenches up, and I just like I get into a weird. Like, oh, I just can't handle it. But that that's my that's about as far as I will go for a pedicure because I I just can't handle that nail shit, man. It just grosses me the fuck out. And then when I uh, fake nails, all that shit, just like I just I can't handle it. I'm getting hot thinking about it. So yeah, so if you guys now you guys learned, um my girl cuts my toenails. And Justin, uh get more involved in the conversation. Your phone's not that important, man. And I was right. Don't worry. What's it um, called? Pedophobia. Nice. <laughs> I'm a pedophobio? <laughs> no, no, pedophobia. All right, okay, either way. Um, probably mispronounced it. I'm a little buzzer now. I haven't eaten anything today. But I was going to go out. No, you could get pedicures. And by the way, send feet pics to Squint, please. Or send it to the uh, – send feet pics to the uh, Half Cup Podcast. Do it. Send it. Send them as many as you can. Dirtiest ones? Like, if you have Dom Vito's toe, send that shit. Like, I would love to see it. Oh, my God. I just got to say this. One of the guys on the RV trip, I don't know if you noticed this, but the, I'm not going to say his name. And he, I hope he's the stinkiest fucking feet in the world. Well, no, that that's. <laughs> yeah, hands <laughs> down. I'm, I'm, believing, I'm believing that. I feel like we're so mean on the podcast. But. I'll say his name to you, and I'll bleep it out since I'm already bleeping those two things out. Dude. Have you seen his big toes? His longest toenails? Like, fucking... Dude, his toenail... And that that might just be me because, I, like I said, I have a fucking 
I don't even want to call it a fear, but I get grossed out. Put that shit away. It's a phobia. Like, it just grosses me out, dude. Oh, look at that, dude. Put that away, dude. But, dude, it, it did not look normal. <laughs> it literally... It got. It was so bad that, like, another person pointed it out to me. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, you're such a fucking weenie. Um, <laughs> did, you hear, did you hear the story about Leanna cutting my nails, by the way? Did you know that she yes. regularly cuts my nails? Yes, I remember, I was there one day, and she's, like, cleaning the fucking gunk out of your nails. And you're like, ah, ah, and you're, like, kicking never cleaned the gunk out of my nails. That's made up. She only no, cuts she my nails. Did. She cut your nails, and she cleaned the gunk out. She's, like, fucking, she's giving me the little shit. Gunk. Yes, you do. Okay, if you're being serious right now, then I'm brain dead because I don't ever remember that. She did it, and she was like, she said, cut your toenails, and you're like kicking your foot. Yeah, I do she, that. And then she said, I'm a little, I'm a little bitch when it comes to my nails. <laughs> and she's out. like, hang on, I need to get this out of your nail. And she like, uh, cut it out. I mean, that could have happened. Yeah, but, um, but I'm, either way, but... you can get pedicures. Like, guys, you can get pedicures, especially like if you have a daughter. And you could go have a pedicure with your daughter. Like, that's a good bonding moment. If you do, like, have a daughter, like, when you're older, like, if you're going to have a daughter, that's that's something you could do. It's not weird. Simp. <laughs> how, okay. <laughs> what is the definition of simp, and how is that simp? I don't Name know. I think it's, the definition of simp is, like, you, you're, 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 like, I think it means, like, you're only saying that because you're trying to find, you're trying to get pussy. No, me? No. You're like, yeah, guys, I, that's a good, like, I I've like, never had a pedicure, <laughs> but I'm saying it's not gay. I have plenty of guy friends that I work with that get pedicures. Like, four of the guys that I work it's, with, yeah, well, they get, they I'm get just funny. kidding, bro. Like, calm down. Dude. They get I'm mad. Funny. They get mad. It, it, maybe they are. If it's working for them, it's working for them, but they get mad chicks and they all go get pedicures. They're all like, fucking sit there. They invited me one time when we got sushi. Like, hey, Justin, do you want to go get a pedicure? I'm like, Low key, that doesn't sound bad, but no, like, I just can't bring myself. Yo, to do it. imagine. Even though I probably need one, like look how nasty that shit is, dude. Like, yo, imagine, imagine me getting a pedicure. You be I'm, oh, oh, oh. I'm socket. I'm literally oh. kicking that girl in the face. But yeah, that was our dumb topic of the day. Low key, I don't even feel like ending this podcast right now. Yeah, I, I don't either. Like, I, I feel like we just got started. And that's what I feel like. It's already been since I started recording an hour and seven minutes. Should we just end it? You guys want to hear uh, part two? Should we do a part two? Should we do two parts? Yeah, okay, we're, doing, we're, we're, doing, we're doing we're doing we're doing part two, boys and girls. All right. Well, let's end it right here, and then we'll do a part two. Oh shit! You guys, even, dude, part one wasn't even that good. <laughs> yeah. You guys, you guys gotta wait for part two. Yo, if you guys are still here. Uh, like the video and uh, comment on our Instagram the fire emoji. How about that? And send pictures your feet to squid. I oh god, dude. I'll send I'll send those the, uh, the if you guys send any pictures to your feet, I'm gonna send those pictures right and to my if any if, <laughs> if anyone sends a, a picture of their foot to like their foot, I'll suck your toe. No, I'm just joking. I'm joking. Don't do I'm that. Se- I'm sending those fucking feet pics right to my homie with the foot fetish. So, if dude, you guys are- hey, yo. Mm. Well, let's end this off because we're gonna start part two. Hey, and part two might be better because you know this one might actually have a better mic. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna be honest, Justin. The mic didn't sound that good, man. Oh, okay, okay. So just talk shit to me. Sorry, my fucking sister's a mean girl. Okay, she she's not even allowed I say, to watch I say you girls. still grab that laptop tomorrow. Oh, uh, should we? And we can even record tomorrow. So we're doing a part two and then recording tomorrow. If you down, man. Content, content, content. I can't right, believe well, we just did this. All right. All right. Well, we gotta finish this. And this is the Half God Podcast. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This was the Half Cut Podcast Show. If you like me, click subscribe. If you want to tune in next week, it's fine. If you want to have some fun, let's ride. Comment below every time. Because I'm getting naked if you ask me to. 
don't do anything you want me to. Squid will shave his beard. Yep. If you subscribe. Thank you for tuning in, boys and girls. Half Cup Podcast. Yay!